Wow, we are getting closer and closer and closer to the end of Doom Zero, the 100% walkthrough for the PC. Played through GZ Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty setting. So today, we are in Map 21, Starborn. Why did they call this map Starborn? Well, we're going to find out. And. I hope you guys enjoy the walkthrough. I'm glad you guys are enjoying so far. And let's kick some more demon butt, shall we? Let's just dive right in. So why do they call this map Starborn, I wonder? Well, if we look, this starting room looks awfully like a star. Hence, Starborn. And if we look carefully, we see the witch's face plastered all over the star. But if you look carefully, one of them has the red eyes. That indicates a door that can be opened. It says walk on the platform down below. So if you have run enabled, you have to hold down the walk button align yourself, and just walk out. Now, if you fall down below here, it's okay. It's not a damaging floor, and there's nothing down here to collect. So, to get back up, we'll just ride the lift back up to the star. No foul, no worry. So, uh, again, and for some reason, when you step on the platform once, the walk disappears, but we'll walk again, and we get introduced to a brand new enemy! The Alpha Soul. These are vanilla enemies, actually. This was the Alpha Lost Soul, but they changed the Lost Soul to what it is right now, but these still exist in the Alpha versions of Doom, so they were brought over from the Alpha versions into Doom Zero, which is kind of cool, although I think they have been altered still. I think they were hit-scan enemies at one point, because they drop clips when they die, and but now they throw the Cacodemon fireball at you at a rapid pace. So yes, we'll deal with more of these alpha souls. These are like alpha males. Oh gosh. I've had bad run-ins with alpha males. They're the type of people that like to order their filet mignon with ketchup. Right? I think so. We'll grab the shotgun to make things a bit more easier. And we'll just deal... It's funny that the Alpha Souls can infight with the regular Lost Souls, which is kind of funny. I'll, I mean, the regular Lost Souls can infight with the regular Lost Souls as well, but it's kind of funny to see the Alpha ones do that as well. So, let's continue on in this dark area. Gun down some imps. We see a Berserk pack up there. And we'll follow the trail of armor bonuses to more Alpha Souls. So we'll just gun them down. I woke up a pain in the ass elemental. That's just terrific. There is a monster only teleporter. Enemies from over on the right side will teleport over there. That's where they're coming from. Nice! The Alpha Soul obliterated the Lost Soul. Now, I'm looking cautiously. There he is. So we'll just peekaboo shoot him to death. Of course, his Lost Soul minions get in the way. There we go, finally, the blob blew up. Okay, sweet. Everybody is finally dead. We can 
finally have some peace and quiet and gather up the items and the shotgun shells and make sure we have all these health bonuses. Don't miss these. I missed these last time. And that's never a good thing. So we'll ride this lift up. And it will take us to more bonuses that we can gather up. But also, the Berserk Pack, which we can't grab. Now, if you fall off the ledge to the right, it will also lower the bridge so you can get the Berserk Pack. And here we see a Witch Switch. Yes, I'm going to call them Witch Switches. So we'll flip it and we'll follow the hallway out of here. And voila! It takes us back to the star area again, where we have to find now the next witch that has her eyes open, and we'll go through. This one says run, so we will run. And we also get the chain gun, so we will gladly grab that if we need it. Now, there are lost soul heads peeking up from there. We can just snipe them off as we get to them. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I don't know, which do you guys prefer? Do you guys prefer lemons or limes? Let me know. So we'll take care of the pain in the ass elemental by just clicking our chain gun fire button. Because the first shot will always hit, so. So now we gotta deal with an Arachnotron on the right, but I want to try and snipe off... Well, maybe I can. There we go. One more Lost Soul to come for us. And then we'll regular shotgun blast this Arachnotron. The hitbox is so wide, I can literally just aim for the legs. And the Arachnotron can't do anything. We'll come to this puzzle in a little bit. Right now, we'll just deal with the enemies as I see fit. There's one more lost soul. What do you know? Oh. Didn't mean for him to come over to me so quickly. My goodness. That's okay. We'll just take it slow. Stop protecting him! I messed this up royally. There we go, finally. I messed this up. And how I messed this up was, I was originally going to say, to peekaboo shoot these imps up above and don't alert the pain elemental until you turn the corner when he's all by himself, but that's okay. I can't remember everything, I guess. We'll come to this puzzle in a little bit. For right now, let's investigate down here for some items. Yes, a secret door has opened up there, but don't bother with that right now. It will just open up a bunch of revenants that we're not prepared to fight just yet. You want to get on the sarcophagus, if you will, and that was a perfect opportunity. You want to wait until all the platforms in front of you have risen up at the same time and then scoot over. I do want that box of bullets, though. Yes, it is worth jumping back down and grabbing, so... Okay, that's not a good opportunity. Come on, center platform, rise up, please. Thank you. I made it. We have another witch switch, which will flip. Another witch switch, which will flip. <laughs> Say that fast ten times. And we come back here again. Let's find another witch 
eyeballs to open up. And this one, it doesn't say anything about what to do, how to get in the opening, so we will walk. Just walk straight forward and you should be able to make it in one go. Before you lower the lift, we'll turn around and we'll see a floating skull, which is a switch to open up a teleporter to the BFG-9000. Now that pain elemental, he's waiting for you on the other side of that lift that we would have lowered. But we got the preemptive strike on him. All oblivious. He has no idea what's about to befall him. No idea. Poor, poor creature. He was waiting. He was waiting right there. Okay, so... Now what I do, they give you some bullets here for a reason. We might as well use them on these two Hell Knights as quickly as possible. And then, before we go get the super shotgun, that is a temptation, let's take care of a revenant on the left side, while we're here. We'll just tickle him to death. There we go. And then we'll get the super shotgun. Now, what I do in this area is a bit risky, but it will pay off dividends. Grab the super shotgun, and then I run to the right, up the stairs, and over to the arch vial and take care of him as whoa he should have got me there as quickly as possible now once he dies I think it's when you come over here it lowers or it raises the bars allowing you to now bottleneck the hell knights and take care of them I find this is a much better spot to take care of the hell knights from than the other location. Like out in the centralized area with the super shotgun itself. There is also a rocket launcher out there and you can grab it before coming in here. Press the gargoyle switch. It will open up the witch switch for you to press later. I love doing that. Much needed bullets and rockets. And there's the rocket launcher, which we will grab. Now on your way up here, if you can, if you have the nerve power to do it, you can get off a couple of good rockets. But then what I do is I back up because that's a lot of Cacodemon fireballs. Then I let the Alpha Souls, come to me. A lot of them may actually be wounded from the rockets that you fired. Which is always a good thing. Oh, hello there! No Alpha Male will ever get a hold of me. All right, so grab these health bonuses up. And we'll also grab the mega armor in the center. Now to the right of the stairs, you'll see this hidden switch. It will lower down the rocket launcher ledge, revealing more rockets and more plasma. So we will grab all of that. Much needed for this next area coming up. Alright, so, where am I going? Okay, up, nope, that's the wrong way. Okay, yeah, up here where the Alpha Souls were, we'll continue going up the stairs. The Gargoyle switch opened up the Witch switch, and we can press it, and get back to the star. Now, we could hunt for the next Witch door to open up, but, if you remember, we left that secret area last time. 
I want to find this one. We will run to get back here. Now what I do... You see how all these torches have walls behind them except that one. That wall will open up when you grab the three armor bonuses down here, so make sure you do that. And then what I do is I stay back as far as I can away from this wall and shoot into the void. That will open up the wall, but they haven't seen us. Oh, I've done better than that. I've actually had a BFG shot take out all but one. But that's okay. They are dead. And that's all that matters, is that the enemies are dead. Yeah, I don't want to handle this area right off the bat. Hey, 69 shells. I will take that. Let's not do this puzzle. Again, let's just jump down. And take the lift back up. Wherever the lift is, there it is. I think I went in a complete circle there. Oh well. Now we will hunt down the next eyeballs to open up. And this one we need to run. Now they give us rockets here for a reason, so we might as well use them. And they give us more rockets. For a very good reason. So, there's a bunch of barons of hell in here. I like to stand here and just fire at them. Kill as many as you can before they gang up on you. Which they will. Also, the alpha souls are a bit obnoxious as well. And then just trade places with everybody. Come on back this way. And then once they get closer to you, you can trade places again. Where is... Did I... I guess I killed that last Baron. I didn't even see him die. Oh well. We'll gather up all the weapons around. Well, not weapons, but ammo. And stuff of that sort. Now we'll press this skull switch to lower down this lift. And we'll get to the far edge of it and zip across and press the witch switch <laughs> I love saying that and then we see this blinking lava floor from this bloodfall you can't use it but you can shoot it and it will open up the bloodfall so we can get a mega sphere and a bunch of shotgun shells oh heck yeah Now, when you try to grab the plasma gun, you can't. It will just teleport you. What you need to do is find the torch that is blinking, that's also got some blood here, and use it. And that will lower down the plasma gun, allowing you to get it. We'll zip back over to the star and open up the final which door. There is a secret right under us. We'll carefully, carefully walk on the edge here for a couple of backpacks. Very cool to have. And it will raise us up. Let's just charge forward and land on this platform. Now don't take this teleporter. Do not take it. What we want to do instead is run into that alcove. And it will raise up a fleshy bridge. So what we have to do now is go back up top to the star. Because the fleshy bridge will take us to an alternate teleporter. And this alternate teleporter is much safer because it takes us to an invulnerability sphere. Very handy for the final area. 
Make sure the couple pain elementals die, and we'll drop down and gun down everybody. And watch that sweet, sweet... Oh. Watch that sweet, sweet kill counter go up. Yeah, by the way, this teleporter will take you back if you need to backtrack. There is a supercharge here, which I don't need, but I will grab for the items. And that's it! We are done! Let's get out of here. That was Starborn! Wow, a very cool map! The only thing I really don't like about this map, I guess if there is a nitpick I can say, is the platforming. Definitely something to get used to. Luckily, though, in this version, 3.0, it is outlined on the floor whether to run or walk for the first couple of them. I think in the earlier versions, there was nothing written down on the floor. So you had to guess as to what to do. So I like the fact that it is written out that you need to either walk or run. If that wasn't there for me, I would it would not be easy. Because basically what happens is if the intention is to walk, but you run, you will hit the wall above the hole. And you won't go into the hole because that's just how Doom's engine <laughs> works. But anyway, it's tough to explain, but that's basically how it works. But that was Starborn, a star map design with the witch switches opening up witch doors, allowing you to actually progress. I like that. Next time, we are in the cracks. Oh boy. What cracks are we talking about? Well, I guess we'll find out next time in more of Doom Zero. So until we see each other again in the next Doom Zero walkthrough, I'll see you guys then. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the cracks.